this Hip Hop at Lunch. We're here with Mellow X. Yeah. How's it going, man? Yeah, I'm chilling, man. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. So, earlier this week, I know you went on stage and performed with The Roots. Can you tell us a little bit about what that was like? Yo, that was a crazy experience. Um, they told me they told me before that they wanted me to go on, but I, it, never ha it never happened like a few weeks prior to, to that event. So, I um, kind of canceled it out of my head, but then uh, that night, they were like, yo... We went to get on stage tonight. I'm like, wow. And um, it was good. I just, when I say I just had fun, I freestyle a little. You know, I'm not the best freestyler, but I'm like, yo, let me just have fun, man. I got the roots behind me. And um, it was good. It was a good experience. Definitely. Yeah, I saw the uh, crowd was feeling it. I watched the video a few times. Yeah, It yeah. looked like it was really successful. Yeah, it man. was, man. It was, it was. So I know you've had a lot of success with your Mustafa's Renaissance mixtape. Can you tell us a little bit about what you wanted to achieve with it and whether or not it did what you wanted? Um, well, basically, I, I've been emceeing since I was a little kid, you know, and um, when I first came out into the city, I came out performing and DJing, but my name started blowing up more as a DJ. So basically, with Mustafa's Renaissance, I wanted to, like, reintroduce Mellow X the rapper because everybody knew, like, Mellow X the DJ. NYC, so I wanted to introduce everybody to the rapper, and it's been working. It's been helping me progress in this this industry, this life that I chose. <laughs> Definitely, I wanted to ask, like, as the as a DJ and an MC goes, like, where's your passion? Like, would you rather be an MC, or you want, you really like the DJ stuff? Um, well, I mean, I, I DJ, <clears throat> produce, MC. Um, I also like record, I mix, master, and I do all that, and like everything together is. I don't know. I don't know if I could choose one, but if I could, like, if there was, like, only one thing I could do, it would be emceeing, because I have, like, a love for poetry. I've been writing poetry since I was small. Like, I have poems in my junior high yearbook, my high school yearbook, you know, so it would have to be emceeing. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And outside of music, what are you doing for New in New York for fun? Like, is there a part of the city you like going to, or? Um, I mean, I love the LES. That's where I'm always at. I'm always in LES, and, um, I feel like nowadays, if you're in LES and you're chilling with people, you actually get to meet people from all over. You meet people from LES, but people from the Bronx, people from Jersey, Queens, everywhere, Staten Island. So I like chilling in LES. I like eating. I like going out to eat alone. I like eating <laughs> with, with, you know, with my friends or with, with ladies or whatever. But, you know, I like to eat alone. You know? Why do you like eating alone? I like to think. And, um... When I'm like sad or frustrated or very happy, I like to just eat and just clear my mind. Okay, so, I can feel that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. And on Twitter, I noticed you're really active. Like, can you tell us a little bit about who you're talking to and how you're using it? Yo, um, Twitter is is great, man, because you get to connect directly. Like, I I don't think any time in the past has like you know artists, celebrities, whatever been able to connect directly to their um, to their audience. It's a good and a bad thing because sometimes they bypass the uh, they bypass their like the person who keeps their mouth shut with certain shit. Yeah. But you know, it's good to connect with people. Like I, I talk directly to anyone. You know, it could be somebody replies to me, I reply right back to. Them. I don't even care who they are, or whatever. You know. So I'm talking to everybody on there. That's yeah. what it was made for. Man. <laughs> That's what it was Definitely, made for to yeah. connect to like connect to your friends, family, like I've met people through there that I would not have met without it, you know what I'm saying, family members, everything, so Definitely. that's cool. Could you tell us a little bit about what you're working on now, I know you did some stuff with Maxwell. Yeah, 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 um, I did a, I did the remix album for uh, Maxwell's album that just came out, we're working on a few like official things with Maxwell in the future, so hopefully that'll come to fruition. But um, besides that, I'm just working on my own music. I'm doing like an official instrumental album that'll come out next year, and then my official album as an MC will come out next year also. So I'm working on both of those, a few remix projects before the end of the year. That's about it, really. Okay. And do you have a message for all your fans? Oh, uh, message to my fans. Um, yo, just keep supporting me, man. I don't even got fans. I got supporters. They're all supporters. Man. Vans is cool, but I feel like the people I mess with are more supporters. Like, they support the movement of unsigned and and underground music. You know what I'm saying? And music that's based off the internet, based off of spreading it through Z-Share files and 
and you share or whatever website people are using, you know. Yeah. So I just say keep supporting me and support other great artists, other good music. You know what I'm saying? Support Mickey, support Cuddy, Theophilus, uh, everybody else, you know. Rob Roy, Rob Roy, it's my homie. Yeah, yeah. So support, support us, support the movement.